Space is one of the most interesting yet difficult things to understand. Since the beginning of the human race, we've studied it, tried to understand it, and continue to learn more on a regular basis. But given how large space is, appearing to go on forever, as you can imagine, we've ended up with more questions than answers. Are aliens real? What's a black hole? How do we find another dimension? Some of these questions may never be answered. Others have been in the past. We know there's no oxygen in space, nor gravity. We also know a lot of the planets we've discovered are uninhabitable for humans. But maybe that's due to the fact that the solar system works the way it does. As we know, the planets revolve around the sun, which leads to certain planets being hotter or colder, and lighter or darker at certain times throughout the day, month, or even years, depending on which planet you're on. But what if they suddenly stopped? Today on Life's Biggest Questions, we're asking, what if all planets stopped revolving around the sun? How's it going, guys? I'm one of your hosts, Jared Bronstein. And I'm your other host, Keegan Hughes. Before we get into things, be sure to let us know what other videos you'd like to see on our channel and stick around until the very end for some bonus content. For those of you unaware, the eight planets in the solar system revolve around the sun as they orbit in their own rotations. This is due to the sun's gravitational pull, which is why the planets orbit around the sun in a pretty consistent way, and they don't go directly into the burning star or fly too far away from it. All in all, the planets have been orbiting the same way for some time now, and are actually an indication of a calendar year on Earth. Depending which planet you're on, a calendar year on Earth can take as little as 3 months, or 88 days, as is the case with Mercury, or as long as 164.8 years, which is the case with Neptune. However, if the planets stopped going around the Sun, the way they have since the beginning of time, it would be much tougher to keep track of the calendar year. As you can imagine, that's just the tip of the iceberg when talking about all the problems that would likely arise if this actually did happen. Even though the chances are next to impossible, it's a scary thought to think about. Again, you don't have to worry this will ever happen, but if it did, I mean it would certainly be much worse than our current situation. The idea of day and night is still plausible, as the Earth would technically still be spinning just on the spot. This means that our day to day lives wouldn't appear to be much different, at least in regards to the sun rising and setting and the moon appearing in the sky. Still, as you can imagine, if all the planets just orbited on the spot, things would happen and they would happen rather quickly. Another possibility would be that planets just stop. Like it's not very possible, but it's the question we're asking. What if the orbital velocity of some planets hit zero. That would be a very interesting and very destructive situation. Take Earth for example, which has an orbital velocity of 30 kilometers per second. If the planet were to suddenly stop revolving around the sun, everything would keep moving for a bit. You know, inertia. Things in motion tend to stay in motion. So a full sudden stop would mean that everything on the surface of Earth would still be moving for a bit. 30 kilometers per second worth of inertia. Try to imagine it. It's kind of nuts. Earth's escape velocity is around 11 kilometers per second. Uh oh. It's possible that everything and anything would then just be thrown out into space. Just like that, people, places, and things, once happily situated on the surface of our planet, now floating around aimlessly in the cold dark expanse. Anything that wasn't able to make the jump would then be smashed to smithereens. Scrambled egg planet. Not ideal for everyone. Of course, different planets are moving at different rates and have different exit velocities, but you can see how that would be bad for them too. And if the revolution stopped, it wouldn't be too likely that it would start up again. Now touching on the fact that we're talking about all the planets and not just Earth, let's talk about how the other planets would potentially be affected as well. To no surprise, anything that would happen to Earth would happen to Mercury and Venus first, as they are closer to the Sun. Meaning if the Earth would eventually be drawn into the Sun's pull, it would happen after Mercury and Venus would be turned into dust. Or I guess ash would be a better comparison. However, the planets behind Earth, when looking at those from closest to furthest from the Sun, which include Mars to Neptune and everything in between, likely wouldn't have the same fate. Of course, it depends on why the planets were to stop revolving around the Sun in the first place. If the orbiting stopped due to the fact that the sun no longer had a gravitational pull, then odds are, each planet would drift off into space, potentially into the sun, while others would go the other way. All in all, the solar system would no longer be intact, and all the planets would be floating around space, waiting for the day they inevitably bump into something else, whether that be a star, another planet, or whatever else is potentially floating around in space. On the flip side, if the sun still had its gravitational pull, and for whatever reason, the planets stopped spinning in their orbits, then as previously mentioned, it seems more likely than not that the planets just start to head right for the sun. To round it all out, let's discuss why this kind of thing would happen. It's not very likely within our lifetime, but eventually everything we know will be dead and gone. Lovely thought, right? But hey, we all know that stars die and our sun is a star. So someday it'll stop being the solar powerhouse that we all know and love. If the sun dies, the solar system will be altered forever. The best estimate scientists have is that around 5 billion years from now, the sun will run out of energy. When that fuel is gone, the sun will start growing drastically. Over time, it'll expand so much that it overtakes a large part of our solar system. Planets closer to the sun will get consumed and burned to a crisp, while other chillier planets in more far off reaches will possibly be warmed 
up to the point of being habitable. Who knew? Pluto may have its day in the sun after all. Another possibility, however unlikely, is that something else might come in and cause the planets to stop revolving around the sun. Something bigger and denser and with an insane gravitational pull. Now, wouldn't that be exciting? At that point, all sorts of stuff would change as it would need to be a truly monstrous body to change up our solar system and overtake the sun. The large distances between things in the solar system would also make it so that these changes happen gradually over long periods of time. They'd become apparent eventually, but we wouldn't likely be around to notice. So all in all, the solar system's pretty legit. I like it. <laughs> I'd say it's legit. It's hard to prove otherwise. It's pretty, you know, like on a scale of just like killing it to just sucking. I think it's killing it right now. Oh, it's definitely on the killing it side. It's on the, it's on the, the scale of killing it for Big sure. Big time. I mean, look, I don't know about you guys. I like life. I like Xbox. I like things. So, yeah. You isn't know? it isn't it weird like how if like the sun were to make like a major change like we wouldn't know for well we we would never know cuz like the change that happened would take so long to get to us That's we true. just like we wouldn't notice it right like it's like if, I mean eventually the sun is going to become a red star right okay. a red, no sorry a red dwarf red dwarf yeah it's going to die and it's going to it's going to all that fuel. it's going to supernova bro it's going to explode and kill everything on earth but guess what we're not going to have to worry about that we don't have we're going to be so long gone gonna be dead in the ground, like, you know, turned into coal and then somebody would dig oh, up that coal and use so it as dead. fuel before so dead. we got even close to, you know, seeing that happen. Isn't it like hundreds of millions of years or billions of oh, years? Oh, it's billions, billions. Yeah, billions, definitely billions. It's just, it's, it's, it's weird to think about that, right? Like we see it and we think it's always there, but like we're seeing like light that's been cast like years and years ago, it's, right? Like the, really the crazy thing is we know it's gonna happen eventually. Yeah. We know, you know, billions of years down the road, but for all we know, on Earth and humans, like all this might have happened already. Oh yeah. And then the sun just blew up and then killed everything and then it just started again. And now again. here we are being like, we're figuring all this out for the first time when in reality we're not. <laughs> it's just like Groundhog Day but with different people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've got like same the multiverses. Over over We've got just like the same universe happening over and over again with like one little thing different. It's you crazy. know, like Jared's birthday was a day before in the last iteration of this. I was, you know, you know I was actually six feet was instead say, of I was just imagining. Inch taller. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was five nine instead of five eight and three and a four fourths of an inch, but I just tell people five nine instead in this in this reality. So we're just gonna stick with five nine. <laughs> Well, on that note, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. We could talk about space all day, but let us know in the comments down below if you guys believe in alternate realities, because I think in one, maybe I'm five, ten and a half, maybe, but for now, we'll just awesome. stick with five, nine, I guess. It's fine. We've also got some comments from the top ten scary things that The Simpsons actually predicted correct. Terminator156 says, I like to think it was all coincidence. It's been a lot of coincidences then. I think everything is a coincidence. I don't think anything happens like without being a coincidence. You got to expand on that. Uh, I, I just mean like 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 the, the likelihood of anything happening is like so like, crazy random. low. Like the fact that like humans exist, the fact that we were like born and survived. Like I think everything's a coincidence. We did we 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 didn't will ourselves into existence. It's just so everything was just random. It just happened. Yeah, absolutely, happened. everything's chaos. It's possible. Uh, yeah, I can see that. How else yeah. can you explain where we're at right now? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, things just kind of happen. There's there is really no rhyme or reason. It things really just happen. Be that way. Juwan said, we know the Simpsons have a time machine. Do you know that though? I bet you Juwan works in the writer's room. It's like, yeah, we know. That's really mad. 100% it's actually Macaroni's like fake ghost account. Eh? <laughs> it's his dwarf account. He's, He's like, fine. don't let them catch on. He's just typing <laughs> away. Nate 100 says, sometimes I blamed the Simpsons for all of this. I didn't know if they meant like the pandemic or their lives, everything that happens in their lives. Every, every coincidence. Like back to everything that happens. It's in, the Simpsons' fault that everything's a coincidence. If there weren't strange Simpsonian people, then we would have more control over our lives, I think. I mean, I know there's this whole thing about like the lizard people. Yeah. But hypothetically, what if, you know, the Simpsons do exist underground? What if these Yeah, are, like Springfield is a place. It's like literally, like there's like, like yellow people with blue hair. Yeah, big eyes. But they have all kinds of hair, because like Bart technically has yellow hair. Yeah, and <laughs> Lisa, right? They're like it's just part of their head. Spiky. But they're like the only characters that look like that, right? Like everyone yeah, else in the hair. Simpsons like is either bald or has hair. But like, like yeah, Bart, Mo, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie, Maggie yeah. are all just like because even hairs. Homer has the hair. Yeah, Marge has the hair. Mo, Barney, they all have hair. And I never thought about that. Mr. Burns. Yeah, they all have it. And anybody else would just look funny without. Hair. Actual hair, but the main characters aside from Le uh, Homer and Marge. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap this one up <laughs> for real this time. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. I'm Keegan Hughes. I don't have to say it, but you know we love you so so much. So be sure to stick around, and subscribe. We got some bloopers you don't wanna miss out on. We'll see you soon. No, J comes before K. Yes. H I J K. -K. Yes, you're right. So it's me first. Okay. Actually, no. J -K. H I J K. Yeah, L M. No, no, J K. Like I'm joking. Oh, J. Yeah. She's a. <laughs>
uninhabitable, right? Uninhabitable, yeah. Because Eamon says uninhabitable, I think she says. <laughs> and it always fucks me up. Oh, it's because she's got an accent. Inhabitable, she says. Her accent. It's she uninhabitable. Says aluminium. Un yeah, <laughs> and, and vitamins, she says. Vitamins. Uninhabitable, okay. Before we get into things, make sure you let us. Nope. It's a burning good time. Crispy planets. <laughs> well, on that note, guys, and we'll see you guys soon. Do you want to do comments or are we good? Oh, yeah, we probably should. All right, let's do some comments. We've also got some comments <laughs> from. Uh...